Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to cover over some weekly reminders on things that you'll want to do that are going to be expiring before maintenance time comes, things that you'll want to be doing or trading in for, various things like that. The first part of this video, we're going to go over the limited time things that are like new and fresh that are be going away. And then the second part of the video, we'll do those static weekly trades that we always like to cover. Things that you should always do every single week that just kind of repeat weekly. Now, first up, I do want to mention there is a lot of things going away this week. And uh, saying that, I do also want to mention the maintenance time is actually going to be happening earlier than normal. It's actually going to be happening three hours earlier than normal. So keep in mind, that's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern time. So keep that in mind for your local time zone. It's actually going to be taking place three hours earlier this upcoming week. So make sure you do all the stuff that you need to before Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So the NGS Season 30 Mission Pass will be coming to an end with this upcoming maintenance. So, so saying that it's a good idea to progress any of your tiers that you do, uh, want to before maintenance time comes. Now I do want to point out if you like, if you have some of the stuff inside of this that you want to get a hold of, but you can't, you don't have time to progress your tiers all the way up to like tier 40 or just whatever the items are that you may want to get out of here. You can always purchase tiers right here for star gems. Now this is 25 star gems a tier to progress this, but that is an option there just in case if you need to, if you haven't completed this yet, that is something that you could do. Now something else I do want to point out is up here at the top left, you can go up here to previous season and it's a good idea just to check through here real quick. This is the last season, season 29. And you can actually go through here and still claim some stuff in here. You can't actually progress the tiers any longer because the season has ended, but you can still actually claim your prizes from this. So just go through here and double check just to make sure that you don't have anything in here still that you need to claim because it will completely vanish once maintenance comes. So I did want to point out to you all at the Arc Striker Badge Exchange, there's a couple of camos here that are going to be going away with the maintenance. So this will be your last chance to trade in for these weapon camos here. So if you was interested in the Obscure Almate CV, the Lemire C Almate CV, or the Resurger Almate CV, or this uh, Bra Almate CV camo, all of these actually are limited time. They're going to be going away with the maintenance, so they're, they're pretty cool looking too, like these color variants. They actually change the color of your Votan arts and stuff. I feel like all of these actually look really nice too, so gonna be your last chance to hit these just wanted to point that out i'm pretty curious to see what the new camos that rotate in are gonna be like because usually they rotate some new camos in each time so it'll be pretty interesting seeing what those will be so there is currently a sale going on inside of the ac shop that's going to be going away with upcoming maintenance and i actually bought this myself i thought it was pretty good this is the aina and manon collection set this was actually originally in japan this was like part of like a cd collection set with like a uh, in real life uh, item codes and stuff that you would get for purchasing a CD. So they gave it to us over here for just a thousand AC, which is a pretty good price in my opinion. It's like ten dollars in uh, American money. Uh, and you can actually get this with uh, it comes with 937 vocal performance 14, which is a really good emote. You should see a little video preview of that up in the top right. I made a video preview showing off this uh, emote. It's a pretty nice dance. It's got two good dances to it, and as, all, as well, there's also like some build parts and portable holograms and stamps and various little things like that inside of there so uh that will be going away with upcoming maintenance that's going to be going away on april 9th so if that's something that you want to pick up it's gonna be your last chance you have you can actually sell this stuff in the player market too so like uh, even if you don't want to actually use this stuff and you want to just like spend some ac to get some masada this is a pretty easy masada i would say because the the dance actually sells for quite a bit of money on the player market and more than likely once this stuff is gone this will probably climb up in price quite a bit i would say that emote in particular and some of the stuff is inside of here too probably gonna be pretty costly on the player markets uh, as time goes on so we do have quite a bit of stuff that's going to be ending concerning the seasonal stuff so zandy's shop right here uh, you'll actually be able to still trade in for you can see that it doesn't go away till 4 16 so it doesn't go away till april 16th but you can you can't actually accure any more seasonal points once the update comes so the the shop will just be left but you won't be able to actually cure any more points so you want to make sure that you go through before maintenance time and try to grind out as many of the seasonal points as you can to get any of the stuff that's inside of here there's actually a really nice bonus right now going on for enhancing these weapons here uh it's actually a really good idea to enhance some of these weapons up to plus 80 and just use them as ground fodder on other stuff that you want later because you can actually take like 10 stars and stuff right to plus 80 immediately with just one of these if you have one at 80 and there's currently like a reduced masada cost for enhancing these and everything it's really nice it makes some really really cheap ground fodder and you can actually sell them in your player markets even for a pretty decent amount of money too 
Uh, and of course, you want to make sure that you try to cure all of these Spring 24 SP scratch tickets. Uh, get a as many of those as you can, too. You'll still have another week to actually use these tickets and stuff, but as I said, it's going to be your last chance that you have to actually like get a hold of these tickets and cure these seasonal points and stuff. So saying that, there's actually a limited time quest right now, too. The limited time quest for the Halfa environment thing here. This actually has like a special like rare drop rate boost going on and stuff. And you can actually get like a lot of seasonal points here and stuff, too. Uh, very worthwhile to run. So that's going to be going away with the maintenance as well. Now, we actually also have a lot of like seasonal limited time tasks that are going to be coming to an end, too. Like this is a complete daily order 150 times. For example for the end master cube hopefully you've gotten close to having that that's going to be going away soon too if you if you're really far behind on this you might just lose out on it but there's also a whole bunch of other like seasonal quests that we had for like getting like various tasks and stuff like that and there was also a rayar task campaign going on too which was really easy to complete you most likely probably have it if you've been playing the game uh, there's just materials that they give you for making a rayar weapon and all, all it involved was this running like the limited time quest a couple of times and uh, it gave you all the materials you need to make the 10 star AR weapon. So definitely make sure you've done that if you haven't. So I did want to point out for you all the reward box is actually going to be coming to an end too. So if you open up your menu and you go down here to tasks and quests, you can find right here the reward box. Now this is actually going to be resetting and I guess they're going to have something new taking its place coming up soon. Uh, so if you have any of these reward box items for February 24, you want to make sure that you either use them or you can also alternatively if you didn't know you can actually if you open up your shop here you can go to item recycle and whenever you're inside of item recycle down towards the bottom down here you can actually exchange those reward badges in for special scratch tickets via right here you can see there's three different options here and the bottom one here is actually recycle reward box medals you can actually turn these in if you wanted to for a special scratch it does take two reward box medals to make one special scratch ticket but this does give you an option of possibly getting some star gems out of there and stuff too. So if there's if there's stuff inside of this reward box here that you don't actually want or you don't like, a lot of the stuff could actually be sold in the player market too, by the way. So you can actually just buy some of the things you want from this, uh, but this will be going away. So keep that in mind. So we do currently have an arcs record ranking going on in the game. It's a little bit of a special one too. So if you open up your menu and you go to personal and then down to arcs records and then random challenge records, you can see right here, it's the South Kavaris dash spring 24. Now this one, you want to make sure that you do at least a run of it because that'll give you a participation reward. If you like to try to run it like several times and do really good at it, you might possibly get silver or gold getting even more of those Arc Striker badges. Now as always, I like to mention too, if you have characters on multiple ships, make sure you do one run per ship because it's an individual ranking reward per ship. And in turn, you can use those Arc Striker badges for getting those weekly star gem traits and stuff like that. Now, the way that you would find this, you can find it when you open up your world map. It's over here in South Kavaris. It's right here at this Dan and Snowfield East Ryuker. And you can see it's right here next to the Ryuker when you teleport here. This terminal right here where you expect to build dash. Now, you want to make sure that you choose the proper one, though, because there's actually two options right now. This is the seasonal uh, limited one that they have added. Hopefully it actually stays around. I don't know for certain if this will be going away later or not. But it's actually pretty cool. It's a, it's a pretty rewarding. You can actually do these runs in about one minute, and it gives you like 15k seasonal points too. It's pretty nice. So this is where you would start it up at. So this part of the video, we're going to go ahead and start up on those static weekly trades, things that you should be trading for every single week. This is just kind of repeatable stuff that we do every single week. So the very first one we're going to go to is Architect NPC right here. You can find her in the beginning of any city, and you want to make sure that you trade in for her Genesis Point stuff here. And she actually has limited time things for making rare weapons, for customizing your photon arts, all of this stuff's like pretty limited per week. And uh, the most important one I want to point out is going to be the Master Fragments. So the Master Fragments, you can actually get a hold of five of these a week, and you want to make sure that you do that because you can actually make in Master Cube. So every two weeks you can make one in Master Cube. And in turn, once you get a hold of five of those, you can make a level 20 skill add-ons. Now, in particular, she also has some stuff here that's like a monthly weekly trade, so make sure that you trade in for your Aegis Integra. You can see I've already traded in for mine. Even though this is a monthly one, this does actually reset with the upcoming maintenance, too. So make sure you trade in for any of the other stuff inside of here that you might want to get hold of. There is weekly trades as well, monthly trades inside of here, but all of it will be resetting this upcoming maintenance time. Now, from there, we're going to go ahead and run up here to the first shop on the left inside of Central City, and that's going to be at the Item Trader Travis. Now, Item Trader Travis up here at the top has the item recycle, and you always want to make sure that you trade in for your 100% rare drop rate boosters here, and as well, these add preset skill level one things here. And then from there, you want to go to item exchange, and at the bottom down here, make sure you trade in for these three boosters right here for 10% augmentation success rate. This uh, just takes 30 gold prim swords to train in for these. That's pretty easy to get hold of. 
And then from there, you want to go to Art Circuit Badge Exchange and you want to trade it for your weekly star jumps here. And as I mentioned earlier too, these camos here will be going away with the maintenance too. Now as well, I want to mention the item exchange Kavaris here. You can get a hold of some weekly limited trades up here for making rare weapons up here. And as well, I'm going to mention the item exchange Stia. Towards the bottom down here, you get, well, towards the middle of the trade here, you can get a hold of like EAX cubes and arms refiners and stuff like that in case you need any of these glass cubes and stuff. And then as well, the Aegis and Tegri exchange down here at the bottom, you can trade in for the Aegis souls and the dominoes and all this stuff to make half an alley, which in turn makes Lux half an alley. This is super important. Uh, they make a lot of a setup from this or just have a really good uh, capsule to use on your gear. And then next I'll mention the Giga Strugman Exchange. You always want to make sure that you trade in for these Tia Customization Disc Bs here. These actually sell for pretty good money on the player market, and as well, it's pretty limited to get a hold of these too. Also, I want to mention the Growthman Exchange. Make sure you trade in for your Customization Discs inside of here too. You can also get a hold of some Arms Refiner too, in case you need some of those or some of these LC capsules and stuff. And lastly, the Dread Scale Exchange. You always want to trade in for this Tia Customization Disc Omni up here. You can only trade in for one of these a week, but make sure Sure you do that too okay and then from there we're gonna go to the last shop on the right over here in central city and that's going to be at the item enhancement shop now down here at the bottom in the exchange enhancement materials other enhancement materials you can trade in for that in master cube here like i said before uh, so this would be where you would get a hold of that. But from right here, you could actually get a hold of like gold uh, prim sword 2 and gold armor 2 in case you need to enhance some of your gear to plus 80. Uh, there is limited time weekly trades for these for the grounder exchange. And as well, you can also get a hold of some materials here to unlock potential six on your weapons in case you need some of that stuff and an arms refiner too here too. Now from here, we're going to go up the stairs here under the tower of Central City to the Alliance Activity Sport NPC, Tim. Now Tim has Alliance tasks, and if you're doing those Alliance tasks, you can get Alliance badges. And the Alliance badges, you can actually trade in for like weekly star gems, genesis points, and triggers inside of here too, which is pretty useful. Now, something else I wanted to point out too, in case if you're, uh, in case if you have some of these augment capsule tasks stacked up, these are actually getting reworked with the upcoming maintenance. So if you have these like uh, where you have to like go and find like notes, these will actually be going away. Sega will be completely removing them from the game. So if you have some of these stocked up, uh, it's going to be a good idea to do them before the maintenance time comes. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do these. I'm glad that they're taking them away because these really suck. They're terrible. They're terrible tasks. They're not fun. Uh, so that's completely why they're removing them from the game and reworking them, which I'm glad they are doing that. But saying that, with them removing them from the game, you will lose out on some of those uh, alliance badges that you get from these tasks. So in case you're worried about that, make sure you do those before it's gone. Okay, so now though the last part of the video here, we're going to be going back to base PSO2, and that's going to be trading in for some star gems via the casino and as well the buster metal exchange. Now, the way that you get the base PSO2, uh, you do have to have it downloaded, first of all, because it is a separate download from NGS, but it is completely free, and it's very worthwhile to have. You can get a ton of star gems there. There's all sorts of, like, little fun activities you can do there. Now, if you're at any Ryuker in the game, you can go to block transfer, and up at the very top is an option for your transfer to a PSO2 block. Okay, so here we are in back in base PSO2. Upon logging in here, if you turn around, you'll be facing this entrance right here to the shopping plaza. You can take this elevator here. If you jump down and you turn back around, you'll be facing the entrance of the casino here. Now, if you run up the stairs to the left here, there's an exchange up here where you trade in for Buster Metals. Now, the Buster Metal Exchange here, the Exchange Buster Metals, you can actually get 100 Star Gems right here. You do have to have Buster Metals to get a hold of this. The best way to do it is just joining the Trigger Cradle of Darkness. Uh, players tend to actually run that a lot. You can just freely join it. If you're like on during peak hours, especially, people will call it out in the lobbies and stuff. You can get a hold of a lot of Buster Metals for you doing that stock up for like weekly trades. But we're going to go ahead and go inside the casino here and we're going to show you the trade that's inside of here real quick too. Now inside of here if you run over to the left there's a prize attendant Chip here and Chip has a limited prize exchange for casino star gems here. Now this one is actually per ship too so if you have characters on multiple ships you can actually trade individually per ship for these star gems here. Now you do have to have casino coins. Now if it's your first time in the casino, this little NPC right here actually has like some tasks and stuff around the casino that you can do and he'll give you some coins. Uh, the best way to do it, I would say if you have three other friends, is play this Masetan shooter game that's in the middle of here. You can actually get a lot of coins playing that Masetan shooter game there and it's pretty fun too. But once you have the casino coins, or if you have casino coin passes actually, you'll have to take them to this Vol Dragon machine here. And the Vol Dragon Machine has an option for turning in some passes, and he'll spit out like some random value coins at you. You can see I'm doing one right here just for an example. He spit out like just a bunch of hundred status. Sometimes he'll actually give you all the way up to like 500 for one pass. That's so pretty nice. A little bit of RNG involved. 
Now, another way to get a hold of these casino coin passes is actually really easy. It's doing daily orders. I'm going to show you that real quick back on base PSL 2. So here we are back in the main arc ship lobby where you would originally log in. If you run over to the left, there's a daily order attendant over here. Now, all you have to do here is just grab any one of these daily orders. Uh, usually I like to do the ones where it's like fishing or mining and stuff like that because you can actually stock up a whole bunch of those items. Now, once you turn in a daily order, it'll actually give you the item. Now, I actually already have one completed for the day, so I can't show you because I've already completed mine for the day. But you can see right here, this one right here was just for completing a daily order. It gave me five casino coin passes. Now, I could actually do this per character I have too, so I could log in on another character real quick and I could turn in one of those like fishing or mining items or something. So just in a matter of minutes, I could actually cure a whole bunch of casino coins, which turns into low effort weekly star jumps via that casino trade. By the way, I wanted to point out, if you like some of the artwork and sketches and the gifts that you see in some of my videos here, the stuff that you see on the screen, it's all commissions that I have done by an amazing artist named Mias Majin. I'm going to leave a link in the video description below to Mias Majin's Twitter, so you you can contact them if you're interested in doing any commissions. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for the video. Coming up here after maintenance, we're actually going to be having the multi-ship uh, Lucille happening, so I'm actually really looking forward to that. But thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. I'll see you all in the next one.